Hi, welcome to this video. I am running away to St. Louis for a Sabrina Carpenter concert. just wear these pants because they're gonna be super comfortable to just drive in but I don't know that's we're gonna we're gonna figure out right now real quick because I want to get dressed and be ready <laughs> got my coffee I realized I was a few hundred miles over when I probably well when it's re recommended that I get my oil changed and I'm about to go on like a six hour drive now and six hour drive back in a day or two um so I was like I should definitely be getting my oil changed now so um we did that got coffee and now we're ready to go I've got my Sabrina Carpenter oh my gosh I didn't even do an intro to this video yet I'm just now realizing that hi welcome to this video I am running away to st. Louis for a Sabrina Carpenter concert I say running away only because it was a very last it was like a spontaneous kind of stupid decision that I made to drive to St. Louis for a concert and then basically drive back just enough time to get back to work the next morning. But it'll be fun. This is what being a young adult's all about, right? The ability to make these kinds of dumb decisions and also not quite the wisdom yet to not make them. But young enough that you still enjoy it so you don't like actually regret it like I don't regret doing this it's gonna be a fun little trip and my oldest sister who lives in Nebraska is gonna meet me there so that I've in a hotel room to sleep in for the two nights which thank you so much to her she's amazing and it's bringing both her daughters I think so my nieces that'll be fun so yeah it will be a fun little trip and I get to spend the day in st. Louis tomorrow I'm gonna be getting to st. Louis about 9, 9.30 probably, depending on how bad the traffic is, I don't know. Definitely not going to be able to one-shot this, especially after I get this down. I'll have to pee at some point. It's 3.30 now, we're finally getting out of here. I think that's all for now. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for clicking on it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Catherine. If you want to learn more about me, click the About Me tab on my channel. And while you're there, look at some of my other videos and subscribe to me. I make random videos vlogging my life, basically. Also, I wanted to show you guys my nails that I did. I'm so proud of them. A French manicure. I mean... I mean, I did that myself. I'm pretty proud. They're not perfect, but not bad for my first French manicure myself. Anyway, we're going to get on the road now. See ya probably in a couple hours. Okay, first hour in update, just over an hour. Um, out of Ohio. Finished Sabrina Carpenter's first album. So yeah, we're in Indiana now. I'm gonna finish listening to this album. I 
as you can see it started pouring rain it looks obviously a lot worse when you're going like 60 miles an hour or even 25 and i could not see anything so i pulled over i haven't even gotten through indianapolis yet but yeah so i pulled over to wait for it to clear up a bit saying my rosary while i wait um once i finish my rosary i'll probably use the bathroom real quick and if it's looking a little better, we'll hit the road again. Mm. So, let me explain. I'm in Terre Haute, Indiana right now. It's a usual stop when I'm driving through this area, I think. And I stopped here specifically with the purpose to, one, get pull-ups for my niece. And two, to get something to eat because I realized, oh, it's like 7.30. I should eat dinner. It's 9 o'clock now. I did stop at Kroger and get the pull-ups. And then I pulled into Starbucks to get a coffee. But then I saw behind the Starbucks, there's a Plato's Closet, which is like a thrift store. I was like, ooh, they're still open for another hour. I should go there. And I went there, and they had a clearance deal that, like, you can get this whole bag and fill it with as many clearance clothes as you can. And you get the whole thing for $15. So I got a bunch of goodies, uh, which was worth it. Uh, however, it's 9 o'clock now. Starbucks is closed, didn't get a coffee, have a bag of clothes, and still haven't eaten. So we're going to run a McDonald's to get some soda for a little bit of caffeine to keep me pumping for this last hour. Not last hour. <laughs> this last straight shot because I don't intend to stop again. Um, and some cheeseburgers car was making oh i need to get gas bro good thing i looked at that before hitting the road again okay so we're gonna get gas then to get to mcdonald's and then hit the road can i have uh three cheeseburgers with no pickles yep and then a large coca-cola will that be all for tonight yes it will 54 thank you You too. Life goes so fast, I've been living so slow. Let's just leave, do whatever we want to. I don't want no regret, no any days. I made it. I'm here at the hotel. Uh, I don't think my sister's here yet because she hasn't texted me back. It's 11.33. And we both said our ETA was 11.30, which worked out really well. She was running super late, and I ended up killing more time than I probably should have at a thrift store. So, it all worked out. So, I'm waiting for her to get here, I guess. I've been staring at you from a distance, trying my best to resist it. But honey, I gotta talk to you. out there okay finally get a chance to update you so far so today is sunday it is almost four o'clock we went to mass this morning at saint francis de sales beautiful latin mass here in saint louis our hotel is like in chesterfield because that's where the sabrina carpenter concert is but all the fun St. Louis stuff is in like the heart of St. Louis downtown, like 30 minutes away from 
Chesterfield, even though Chesterfield's like a part of St. Louis. St. Louis is huge. So we had to drive all the way back to the hotel because I needed, uh, had a little emergency that my emergency bag was in my car at the hotel. So we got that, got into something more comfortable to make the emergency more bearable. So I'm in this denim short dress slash long shirt that I got thrifting yesterday with sweatpants underneath it and my Birkenstocks and socks combo. Anyway, so we got back to the hotel. I changed into something more comfortable. We got lunch at this cool tavern place. All the food was like amazing there. Definitely recommend that. And now we just got coffee at Caldi's Coffee and you can tell it's demonic because there's a goat. I'm kidding. I'm not that crazy for the most part. The coffee is really good, but it was the most expensive coffee I've ever bought in my life. This is only a 16 ounce. I paid $9 for this. I could get a 24 ounce at any wine in Ohio for like seven if that so now we're working on figuring out what we're gonna do next where's my bagel bagel yum yum big fire trying to eat my bagel anyway what i was saying was watch us drive all the way to the zoo and then be sacked out by the time we get there probably so is that what we're gonna do we haven't come up with a better idea. Like the art museum and the history museum or the flower place, but I'm, I'm down for any of it. So we decided against going all the way downtown to St. Louis to only spend a couple hours there because we couldn't decide on or get excited enough about anything to go all the way down there. And plus, Going down there and coming back is both kind of going to be during like rush hours and the traffic's not going to be fun. So we're just going to stay in Chesterfield for this evening and hit random stores. Because that is something we can get randomly excited about and at least don't need to get excited about because it's right here. So it's not like we need to work up the excitement or energy to go down somewhere or drive to somewhere. Even though I'm not the one driving. So the first stop is Ross Dress for Less. A really big and nice looking one. Oh yeah. I just saw one of my favorite YouTubers wearing this exact t-shirt in one of her YouTube videos. So far I've found two things. These shorts for working out or for swimming, either one, but it's a really cute marble design that I really like. And it's actually a pretty long short. Um, I typically don't like wearing shorts though. And then this beautiful denim dress. It's a little out of my budget though, more than what I would want to spend on just one dress. So if it's the only, if these are the only two things at the end of this shopping trip that I want, then I'll buy both of them. But if I find other things that I kind of want more, I'm probably not gonna get the dress. But I'll probably regret getting it or probably regret not getting it, so I probably should get it. Um, I'll have a single cheeseburger with a gluten-free bun. A single cheeseburger with a gluten-free bun. Is that an allergy or preference? Preference. Preference. That's all for me. What's this place called again? The Shake Shack? <laughs> We're at the Shake Shack, which the aesthetic with its green simplicity looks like just like a salad place or a vegan place or something, but it looks like just a really healthy steak and shake or Five Guys type of thing. I finally found parking that took a bit. Um, I'm gonna take off my coat. I know it's really cold out there, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get really hot inside and I don't really wanna be holding it, so yeah. I'm starting to finally get excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Sabrina Carpenter concert. That's fun. 
I can't bring my camera in, unfortunately. No audio or video recording of any kind, which would include phones. So that's a stupid rule, because I know they're not taking away our phones. But I don't want to risk having to walk all the way back to put my camera in the car or have them take it from me. So I'll probably do something on my phone, record a lot of things, but it's just not going to be good quality at all. Sorry. But I'm going to go and enjoy this concert and I will see you after. concert hopefully I found some other videos and photos from other people's accounts posted or whatever to include in this video because my phone camera quality is garbage but it was fun I was pretty close because uh, even with getting there 30 minutes before the show and being in general admission the floor was not empty like it was definitely pretty crowded but i was pretty surprised with what i managed to get traffic is like horrible right now trying to get out of here so i'm kind of not in a huge hurry to get out of here one of the gals who are like next to me and around me like sat down on the ground randomly during one of the songs and the friend she was with there with like knelt down next to her and she was like trying to figure out if she was okay apparently she was like having some kind of heat stroke or just very dehydrated and just needed water and was not feeling okay so everybody kind of around her started freaking out and it was once you're in it's hard to get out like you don't just go get a drink and come back some gals can do it perfectly fine but it's not easy and the, her friend was a very small person like my size or smaller um, and so we kind of started panic and some people started flashing their lights in a certain way in a direct all in a directed area so if somebody knows there's a problem so one of the security guard dudes was able to come with his fancy flashlight and alert other people to come and take her out and get her water and whatever she needed and yeah it was kind of crazy because then uh, it was when that song ended that the, like the paramedics and safety guards and people were coming towards her and clearing a path and coming towards her and so Sabrina just kind of sat up there on stage in the dark like silent until everything was over and yeah it was 
kind of weird. That was exciting. But anyway, oh, it's so tired. So the original plan was that I need to still work tomorrow at 11.30, like six hours away from here. So I was gonna go back to the hotel, sleep for a couple hours, and leave at like four or five in the morning to get to work tomorrow, and then work all day. But they just texted me saying they don't need me there, apparently. I do get to sleep in as much as I want tomorrow and enjoy a nice shower in a hotel before I hit the road because I'm still going to leave and go home tomorrow but I have a little more time now. I don't know what I'm going to do at that time. Is it? Oh yeah, no, it's not clear back there at all. I think there's a way out this way though that most people are not going out that way. We're going to do that. We're going to get the soda first because I'm really craving that. Like, I just need a pick-me-up right now. Even though I'm going straight to the hotel to sleep. Dr. Pepper has been acquired. The gas station was all out of Coca-Cola, which is weird. I saw a bunch of other gals there who were coming from the Sabrina Carpenter concert stopping at the same gas station as well. Uh, I'm gonna go inside now. You're probably not gonna hear from me until tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. I got this new dress. This is another thing that I thrifted. It's sleeveless in like, I forget what that design is called. Um, but I'm wearing my denim dress over it. So I'm pretty much packed up. We're about to go get breakfast and coffee before heading the road. Well, actually we're gonna stop at the zoo for a couple hours, I think. But depending on how I feel after eating breakfast and getting coffee, I might just come straight home. Because I'm feeling, I'm still feeling tired even though I got a good night's of sleep and I'm not feeling well, not feeling 100%. But we'll see. I haven't decided yet. I have no idea. Maybe I'll feel a lot better after I eat. So, we got coffee. This is the last of the lavender latte that I got at that coffee and crepe place, which was amazing. I mean, sorry if the wind is loud and you can't hear me. Coffee and crepes. Genius. It was absolutely delicious. I got like this cream cheese cherry pie filling crepe. Mm. I parked about 15 minutes away from or 15 minute walk away from the zoo because I wasn't going to pay $15 for parking at the zoo. But the more I'm walking, the more I'm like, oh, I could have parked there and there or up there with those cars. But yeah, we're just going to go to the zoo literally only for like 40 minutes. We're going to do the train real quick. paddle boarding on that before I think that was was that last summer or the summer before I don't even remember it feels like forever ago a bunch of school kids are being dropped off here hello so the zoo is kind of boring like we maybe saw one animal and it was a flamingo I did technically see an elephant other than that um but anyway we are at the shake shack again i parted ways with my sister uh at walmart because we stopped there to get me some tylenol and to get my niece some pull-ups um so i used the bathroom there but then i was like i need lunch i was gonna wait 40 minutes because my plan is to get into edwardsville in illinois just to get out of st louis and out of missouri um to get gas and get coffee and get on the road. But I was like, uh, somewhere in there I need to get lunch. And do I really want to get lunch in 
Edwardsville or do I want to get lunch somewhere I can only really go here in St. Louis one last time. And so the Shake Shack, there's a few of them around St. Louis area. And so I'm going there again. This one doesn't have a drive through though, so I have to go in. I got my burger from the Shake Shack, except they were all out of gluten-free buns, which was the whole point I was going to the Shake Shack, was to get a gluten-free bun and feel good about the lunch I was eating. And I ended up not. Okay, I think we're good. We're gonna go get coffee now. Hello, welcome to Skaters. What can I get for you? Hi, um, I'm gonna have a large iced caramelicious latte. Okay. And can that have oat milk and no whipped cream? Okay. And let's put an extra shot of espresso in there. All right, anything else? That should be it. Thanks, you Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Oh my gosh, it's so fancy. I've never seen this cup before. It's got all these like streets and landmarks. That's so cool. We're gonna go nonstop to Terre Haute. By then, it'll be just after six, so I can probably eat something again. Probably three cheeseburgers again. 